Hey guys, how you doing? Uh, long time, no talky talky. I uh, apologize for that. I've been a little busy on my other channel, which uh, I do intend on making a specific video just for that show and tell, just for that explanation. Um, I, that, that's not this one. This one is all about uh, a robot vacuum here. Good friend of mine, <laughs> in fact. I've been, uh, I've been thrilled by this thing. In fact, so much so that I'm never gonna be without one ever again. They are ridiculously expensive now. I only paid like 200 bucks for this guy uh, three years ago, I think it was. But uh, now it's, it's, I don't know, it's starting to act up. I don't know if we can fix it. I don't know if what I have planned is gonna do anything worthwhile, but uh, that's what we are here to find out. Um, maybe you learn a little something, something along the way. Otherwise, hey, maybe you just uh, be entertained for 20 minutes or 30 minutes or however long the video is. Anywho, I have a Nito name brand, uh, D75. That's what uh, this particular make and model is. Uh, again, like I said, I, I freaking love this thing. But uh, what it's starting to do, um, it, well, I, I don't have any error codes. I don't, I don't have much to go on here. I'm, I'm taking a total guess just from experience with other pieces, parts, devices, you know, throughout my life. I'm, I'm totally guessing here. Uh, a battery may help, may not, you know, do a damn thing. But uh, what it began doing is, uh, and it only happened twice, I only have a thousand square foot home uh, for this thing to clean. And of that thousand square feet, it only does three quarters of that. So, you know, maybe maybe 750 feet uh, squared. Maybe it even does that much. And then I started doing, uh, for the past year and a half, give or take, I started cleaning one room, my the room we're in right now, actually, my living room, um, by hand. So, you know, it cut back yet again on what this thing would clean. So it's only doing, you know, at most 500 square. Um, twice now, what it did, or what I should say what it didn't do, it, it didn't complete, it didn't finish the job. It, uh, you know, it beeped, it made a sound, and, and said it was going back to the charging station because the battery's low and it needs to charge up. Well, okay, um, you know, that's fun, I guess. I, maybe the battery's getting weak. The, uh, I mean, I still have the original battery, that's what it's been living on. So it did that twice, and then here lately, I should say for almost a week straight, it started beeping and it was telling me to turn the, the, the switch on inside here. Take the uh, nasty bits out. I think we can get you to, get you focused in on this one. There's a, you know, that switch right there, that on off switch, it keeps telling me to turn it on. Well, it, it is on. I mean, the thing's sitting on the charging station and the thing's still beeping at me, telling me to turn the switch on. Well, yeah, I mean, it's on, what do you, what more do you want me to do? Uh, so I don't know if it's malfunctioned or if it's broken or if it's you know repairable. I don't know if I'm gonna be able to do anything with it, but I thought the most logical thing, the first thing to try, uh, one of these uh, Chinese batteries. Um, I'm doing a review on this on my other channel, <laughs> which I'm, I'll link to in here somewhere. Uh, that's not what this is about. I'm not here to review the battery in this video. I'm here to see if we can fix the damn thing. The battery review is gonna be in another video on my, actually my review, uh, product review channel. Uh, this is the uh, the OEM, the, 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 the Neato battery, whatever. And uh, this is a Chinesium one. Is it as good? Uh, will it be as good? Um, this is rated for 3,600. 3,600 milliamp hours. This one's ready for 4,000. Uh, when this was new, I used to be able to clean the house twice on one charge. This is brand new, so if the machine, if, th if this pretty much solves the problem with this machine, then I should be able to get at least two cleaning cycles out of one charge on this battery. So, I mean, that's, that's the comparison, the metric by which I am measuring, let's put it that way. Uh, the name brand is uh, More Pilot. <laughs> <laughs> I, I, I don't know, I, these, these Chinese companies, I, 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 I'm telling you, they sit around a table just, you know, dreaming up the goofiest freaking names they, they can possibly muster, and they say, uh, yeah, this is what we're gonna call our company, more, more pilot, I, I don't know. <laughs> uh, whatever, there's the, uh, uh, the box, I, I think you can focus in on that, are we focused? Well, whatever, if not, I'll take a snapshot and throw it up in the video in post. So, um, I mean, most of you guys 
probably know how to do this, but for those of you that don't, you flip it over and uh, you take the, uh, the battery door off there, two screws, which do not fall out of mine anyway, which is, uh, you know, that's good forethought for, uh, from Nito, these guys here. I, I'm still, you know, of all the ones that are out there, all the makes and models, and I think Nito still makes the, the, the most sense. Um, at least they're, uh, until, they, until they prove they're not worthy of my money anymore, they're gonna continue to get my money. So if I gotta replace this, I'm gonna choke on the $500 that the new one costs and you know just place that order, because these things are awesome. Anywho, um, battery goes in there, you know, A's and B's and the cover goes back on. And um, yeah, that's about, uh, that's about what we're getting into. I'm gonna throw that together, get the, 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 the battery charged up, and we're gonna see what the thing does, if it does anything. Um, yeah, that's where I'm at. All right, moving along, moving along. Come on, buddy. Come on, little guy. It says, finished. I wanna see the uh, battery level. This is the third run. Say pause. Um, how do you get to the battery indicator? I guess I've paused. Oh, there it is. There we go. So this is the third run, and again, it uh, it did literally half my house, and I'm still looking at three quarter battery life remaining. So that's a win win. That's uh, three identical results in a row. So I'm calling it a day right there. All right, uh, back at this here a little while later, and uh, I put it through its paces. The uh, new battery, this uh, this is the original one. The new battery here, the 4,000 milliamp hour one, so far so good, seems to have fixed it. I haven't had a problem since. Uh, definitely noticing some increased battery capacity. So um, yeah, I'm calling it a win. Uh, this is like 50 bucks to your door for the OEM battery, and this one was 35 to my door, you know, all in. So um, yeah, I mean, why pay more if you ain't got to, right? I, I can't 100% uh, verify the capacity. You know, I don't know if we're really getting 4,000 milliamp hours, but it's better than this one ever did. I can tell you that by the battery indicator. Normally with this one, when it was new, when the job was finished, it would come back and this would be half dead according to the battery indicator. So I could clean the house twice. This one, when it's coming back, well, I mean, you see, it's uh, it's still got like three quarter of the battery life. So yeah, that's, I'm gonna call that a win. All right, um, now the side brush on this thing. That's what's going on. Um, I didn't know if the battery was gonna fix it, but it seems to have uh, fixed it right up. So uh, now we gotta fix the other thing or we're gonna give it the old college try. This uh, side brush here, I don't know what's going on with it. It's, it's, it works when it wants to, I guess. Um, it's, it's doing weird stuff. I don't, I, don't, I don't understand, but we're gonna see if we can't figure it out. Uh, it cleans like half of the, it, it'll go out and do the edges, you know, <laughs> without the brush running for whatever reason. And then when it starts getting towards the middle of the room, um, you know, where it just starts drawing the back and forth lines, then all of a sudden the brush starts working. So I don't know if it's being told to do that. I don't know if it's a, an electrical issue, a command issue, for example, or if uh, there's something else going on. But uh, the only way I'm gonna be able to test any of it, uh, realistically, I gotta, I gotta get in here. I gotta see what, uh, see what kind of guts we got to work with. And, you know, maybe I can deal with it, maybe I can't. But uh, I'm gonna take you along for the ride and I guess we'll, uh, we'll see what we see together. So I'm not gonna bore you to death uh, taking these screws out. I mean, you know, it's just a bunch of screws. Take the screws out and then I guess this thing will split in two or maybe more parts, I don't know. But uh, whatever, I'm gonna set you up, get you a top down shot, get this thing apart and uh, we'll get back to it. Uh, we'll get back to it then. All right, I think I got uh, all the screws loose. I'm gonna leave the battery in. Um, there were no screws under there. I don't see no reason to, uh, you know, remove the battery, but uh, you're gonna need a, a T10, on well, this one anyway, a T10, Torx T10, and uh, a number one uh, Phillips screwdriver. 
if uh, you want to remove those screws there. Um, most everything was just Torx, but uh, I noticed this, here's the, uh, whatever, where the, the side brush goes, that does not spin very freely. There feels like, I don't know, that feels very uh, snug. Um, you know what, the, the main beater bar brush, that spins easier than, than this one does, uh, at least by the feel. Now this is a larger diameter too, so maybe maybe that has something to do with it. Um, but yeah, well, I don't know, we're, we're gonna take it apart and uh, yeah, see what we see. Well, let me figure out how this comes apart. I got all the screws out. I mean, they're just kind of sitting there, but uh, yeah, let me get it apart and then we'll tune you back in. All right, I think I got her. Um, I had to take the uh, front bumper off here. There are, um, Little tabs here, you gotta kind of spread the uh, yeah, spread spread this piece out a little bit, and you know, gently but surely, slowly, you know, slowly but surely, work it out around off away from uh, these grooves here. Uh, you know, one of the bumper switches there, bumper switch there. And anyway, uh, that reveals uh, some more screws on the uh, top here, and yeah, on the bottom. So uh, yeah, she was. Uh, she was hiding a couple of tricks there, but uh, hey, we got her. Anywho, um, I haven't uh, popped the top on this yet. I mean, I broke it loose, but that was as far as I went. Looks like we got uh, one main connector there. What it looks like, nice and easy. Mm. See if we can pop that up nice and easy. Gently. There we go. One side. Come on now. Don't be so flexible. There we go. Ah, got her. All right. Well, uh, yeah, that's that. You know what I'm thinking? I'm thinking, hey, this looks pretty clean, all in all. I expected it to be full of, uh, well, dust. There's the uh, spinema thing for the LiDAR, radar thing. Huh, that's a, uh, that belt looks a little sloppy. I, well, I mean, there's no tensioner there, it's just, uh, the, the the size, I guess, is the only tension you get. I don't know, you know what? Oh, there's a, this, there's a belt on that too. Let's see if we can get you focused in on that a little bit. There's a, where are we at? Eh, can you, I don't know if you can see that or not. Yeah, I think you can see that. You can see the thing that I'm spinning there. There's, that's a belt drive, so, and this is, I'm sorry, this is just too damn tight. I don't, uh, I don't know why it's so tight. Maybe it's just jammed full of uh, schmoo. Hopefully that's all there is to it. Anyway, I gotta take a couple of screws out here. Oh. Yeah. One, two. Oh, I gotta take the board out. Aye. All right, I gotta I pull this board out because there's, there's, I can see there's a screw back under there. Uh, I'm not gonna bore you with that. Let me do that, and uh, we'll get down to it and see what, uh, see what's going on then together. Alrighty, um, I'm, uh, I think I'm down to it. There's no uh, hardware that holds the board in. There's just these. Uh, here, let me get something to point with. And, uh, um, can we see this? Wait, I can't see it. Um, whatever, right, right there where I'm pointing, there's, there's two little squeeze tabs, and, uh, the board just kind of like, then locks in right here and here with these tabs, you know. Oops, why don't I frame it, huh? <laughs> nope, nope, I tried, but I still can't do two things at once. <laughs> 
Yeah, tab there, tab there, and it locks in, you know, right in front of that. I didn't see the need to disconnect all of these wires because all I had to do was just shove the board a little bit to uh, access that screw right down in there. And I believe, I think anyway, I think I did enough to uh, get access to that. So I'm gonna take these three screws out and then I can pop that motor out. And then we can get a little closer inspection and see what we see. All right, um, that was not so bad, not so bad at all. And yes, that is that is just tight. I'm guessing this uh, that little screw there holds it down to a metal post. It's plastic against metal, and it just feels like it's I don't know, like there's crap in there. Um, the belt, it's on there. I mean, I, I I don't think it has great tension or anything, but you know, it's on there. I mean, I'm spinning the motor every time I spin the 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 shaft here, so. Um, yeah, I mean, it just feels tight. It's, it's, there's something going on in there. It's bound up. So I'm going to uh, take that apart and hopefully a little grease is all it takes. And we'll, I mean, we'll see anyway. I'm not going to bore you with it. I'll just uh, get to it, uh, show you what, what it is when we get to it. How about that? Hey, you know what? Um, I didn't, uh, I didn't know until I uh, just uh, went a little too far. <laughs> this screw I took out, I, I, I took that uh, screw out there in the middle don't have to do that. Um, it, it's, it's a self-tapper too, so that means it's going into plastic. Um, this just kind of slides off. And yeah, it, uh, I mean, there's there's a little bit of fuzz built up down there, but that's not it. It's tight. I mean, you get it on like there and, and I'm, I'm still feeling that same resistance. It's, you know, it's just tight. So she needs to be lubed up. Um, you know, that little, little bit of fuzz ain't, ain't uh, it's certainly not causing the problem. The motor spins fine, you know, so yeah, that's, uh, that's what it is, I think. Um, I'm gonna put that screw back in because <laughs> there was no need to take it out. Uh, I didn't know. I'm doing this for the first time and taking you along for the ride. So uh, learn from my mistakes. Don't take this one out. There is no need for that. Oh, I just don't know me what that is uh, because this is magnetic. Where's my, uh... yeah, that's what that's what it is. There's a magnet in here. Let's see if we can get your, yeah, you can see that, right? There's a magnet there. The magnet, you know, needs metal to stick to. So that's what that's all about. You know, you can hear it like it, it just magnetically goes click, you know. So, uh, nah, two plus two, I'm getting it. I'm coming up with four. <laughs> it takes me a minute sometimes. Anywho. Uh, yeah, I'll tell you what I'm going to do. I'm going to, uh, uh, you know what? That's just an O-ring. That is all that is. That is an O-ring. I, uh, I might, add, I, well, I'm going to see what I got in my box of tricks. I got a whole bunch of O-rings. If, uh, if I have something that's a little bit snugger than this, I'll just replace it. That's, uh, I mean, they might call it a belt, but it ain't, it, that's, that's an O-ring. And that I'm sure is an O-ring as well. So, um, yeah, <laughs> cool. I mean, if I don't got nothing that's gonna fit, then I'll, I'll just, you know, make sure this spins good and free because it is not freely spinning right now. So, um, yeah, how about, uh, yeah, I'll, uh, I'll tune you back in when I got more to show. Um, I uh, cleaned this off with some rubbing alcohol and uh, cleaned the pulleys up real good, cleaned the belt as well, or the O-ring, I should say, because, uh, well, I don't have I don't have one. <laughs> I don't have one that size, of course, of course. I could have 10,000 O-rings laying around, but guaranteed I ain't gonna have that one. So um, uh, I made a discovery here. Well, anyway, uh, what I was getting to before uh, I made the discovery, there was a little white schmoo down here underneath some of the fuzz. Um, best guess, they probably used a white lithium grease and clearly that stuff is gone. Um, that is not what I'm going to use. Made a discovery here. This screw has two, two functions. Uh, take a look. <laughs> yeah, it'll trap some air in there. Uh, and this is all dead dry stuff, so I haven't even lubed it yet. It's gonna get a whole lot worse when I apply some lubrication. So this screw, 
two twofold here. One for magnetic purposes, and two, it's an air bleed. So take the screw out. <laughs> eh, I'll get it right one of these days. Don't you worry. Anywho, um, what I'm going to use because um, well, some of you are going to go like, "What the hell is he doing?" Trust me on this. Um, done it before on on lots of plastic things. You put a little never seize on plastic, and that's it. It will. It's a spin forever. I mean, literally forever. It'll never. It'll never uh, harden. It'll never dry up. It'll never. It, it'll just spin, and it'll spin like zero friction kind of spin. So, uh, because I want to eliminate the friction here as best I can. Um, yeah, I'm going with uh, a dabble, do you? And uh, get a little get a little in there and uh, coat the bottom of it. Yeah. Something like that. And put a little on the stick. Stem, stick, whatever. Just a little bit because this stuff is uh, impressive. What it does to plastic, normally, anyway. <laughs> Yeah, work it in, work it in, work it in. You know what? It's still a little snug, a little uh, resistive, I should say. Huh? Well, I'll give her a little more then. I'm glad I chose. Uh, I'm glad I, I chose this because. Yeah, I mean, if this doesn't free it up you know, like butter, then uh, seriously, nothing will. Uh, yeah, I'll just uh, keep working this until I'm uh, happy with it. It is it is better, but uh, it's still got some friction to her, so. All right, I'll, uh, I'll tune you back in when I'm, when I'm satisfied with this. All righty, I think I got her uh, off camera. Of course, uh, don't want to waste your time. I uh, I gave her the beans. Now, now I think you can see that. Eh. Uh, no lube, uh, not not yet. Anyway, I'm gonna I'm gonna put a little schmoo in there. Um, the the motor feels good, but uh, I don't know. The more the closer I, I inspected this, I, I saw some. Well, it looked like it could use a little polishing, so I put some 600 grit sandpaper on her, and uh, you know cleaned it up a little bit and then did the same to the uh, um, whatever the, 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 the pulley the spool whatever you want to call this guy uh, cleaned that up good and thorough inside and uh, yeah now I mean it's still it's 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 a tight fit but uh, like gravity it, it'll just fall right on now so uh, that's what I'm looking for that's what I expect to do and uh, it should hopefully hopefully solve the problem I don't know, I guess we're gonna find out. But uh, now I get to put this thing back together and I did have to take the motor out because uh, yeah, they're just, there ain't enough wiggle room in there and I don't wanna keep, you know, sanding while flexing these wires, you know, you ain't gonna end up breaking something. So uh, I don't remember if I told you, I did ultimately have to disconnect the battery then and uh, I took the, uh, whatever, that little connector off the, the board on the backside. So I'm gonna screw this up get her back together. I'm gonna to blow this thing out with an air compressor. It's it's decent, it's it's surprisingly good. Uh, I really don't have to, but uh, I'm here, I might as well do it. You know, ain't nothing but a couple of bursts of air and boom, it'll be good as new. So I'm gonna blow it back to blow out the, uh, the debris and whatnot and put this back together. And we're gonna see what she does, but that's the gist of it. This is, uh, well, as long as it, uh, as long as the motor still works, um, you know, that should solve it. Cause that thing was just way too tight. All right. Um, Tune you back in when there's a little more to show and tell. All right, I uh, took it outside and blew it out good and thorough and uh, <laughs> gotta love it. I don't know what the hell this is. Um, it came it came bouncing out. <laughs> it's a, uh, let's see if we can get you focused in here. Some kind of a plug. Yeah, man. Well, how's that? <laughs> it's rubber. Um, I don't know. I got no idea. Um, I was blowing up in this area in where the vacuum, the suction motor is, and uh, that's that's when something started flopping around and I saw it. It actually blew out of this area and got stuck up under the board, 
I, I didn't have the board in. I just I had it all loosely, you know, just kind of set there in place. And uh, whatever, I got stuck in a corner, well, one of the cubby holes up here. And I pulled it out. I, I, I spent a good, oh, I don't know, 20, 30 minutes scanning it as best I can see. As the, it just doesn't go to this thing. I don't know. Maybe it's something that the vacuum sucked up. But I, I've never run the thing without the filter in, and this thing ain't going through a filter. Uh, my, none of my filters have holes in them, so I mean, yeah, I'm sure it probably came out of this thing somewhere. But uh, whatever, if, uh, if you come across this on yours, honestly, let me know in the comment section because I got not a clue. I don't know where the hell it goes, but I'm going to hang on to it just for so. I'm sure it's not that critical, but uh, yeah, famous last words and all that, all that. But uh, anywho, about ready to uh, put the covers back on and, you know, wrap it up. Motors in, boards in, and uh, yeah. This thing makes racket now. I don't recall it doing that before I blew it out. But you can hear that, right? Yeah, I don't know. Um, <laughs> I don't know. I, I don't remember doing that before I blew it out. But I mean, it's been good and free. It just sounds like, uh, you know, tired bearings worn out bearings is what it sounds like. You know, it doesn't have any real play to it, but, uh, yeah, well, whatever you, it is what it is. It's, uh, you know, as long as it keeps working another two, three years, yeah, I'll just get a new one <laughs> later, later, later down the road. But these things are, you know, starting to get the equivalent of this, you know, they're just starting at $500 now. Fucking ridiculous. All the interconnected need an app to run the fucking robot. No. God damn it. Just let me push a button and make it do his thing. I don't need an app for that, okay? Just give me a damn on switch. Say go. Anyway, that's a pet peeve, a rant and a rave for another time. Gonna throw this guy back together and then we're gonna test it out. All right, uh, pretty much down to it. Um, I just thought real quick, uh, some of you know, some of you don't. Uh, just go over it here once real quick now. Um, th these brushes here, this, this end pulls out. Uh, you can see there's a bunch of uh, yeah, schmoo and whatnot in there. When you're cleaning your brushes, don't be afraid to remove this uh, this little end cap slash bearing slash uh, bush. Yeah, it's a bushing. <laughs> it's what it is. Anywho, because um, there's always going to be crap, you know, any kind of hair, all kinds of hair gets stuck in there. So, uh, yeah, a little A's and B's like that. And uh, presto, it's going to be kitchen magic. We are finished, I believe, I believe. Hey, something like that. And alrighty. Yeah, that's a, that's a big difference right there. This was always tight. And I, I you know, I pulled hair out of it a bunch of times, but uh, now clearly that wasn't, uh, that wasn't gonna fix it. All right, um, turn the switch on, uh, put the battery back in. It should be ready to rock and roll. I don't know. Yeah, it's gonna wanna charge now. Even though the battery was fully charged. Oh, I can't see with all this light. And let's move. Yeah, my battery is low. I don't know why it does that. Every time you put a battery in it, or I should say, you can have the thing fully charged, uh, turn this switch off and turn it back on. Every time it's gonna say, you know, it's battery's low. I don't know, I don't get it. It did that since day one. And that's a fully charged battery, so. It takes 10 minutes to uh, re, uh, uh, I don't know, relearn, re-understand, hey, there's nothing wrong with my battery, it is fully charged. So uh, let me uh, give it that uh, 10 minute break on the charger and then we'll, uh, we'll see what it does. All right, this guy has spent its uh, 10 minutes on the charger. I don't know why, it just takes 10 minutes. Now it's saying uh, battery's fully charged, which it was when I put it there. Anywho, let's uh, let's make it go. Is that brush gonna spin? Look at that! Right away, right away. I think we got her, boys. Hasn't done that in literally, uh, well, a year and a half. All right, I'm hauling that. Uh, Quite the success story. All right, so I think uh, I think that's quite the success story. Um, no muss, no fuss, really. Overall, it was pretty easy to do. Um, 
No major casualties, just uh, just one little leftover piece and part here. Uh, nobody needs that, right? Um, the battery works great. The uh, side brush is working great now. Um, yeah, it's a, I like it like that. Um, this guy is uh, three, a little over three years old, and the only thing I've done to it so far is uh, that little bit of uh, lubrication on there on the side brush, and I replaced the battery. This thing's still rocking and rolling. I'm, I'm very happy with this machine. Uh, again, it's a Nito D75, if you were wondering. I'll put links to the pieces, parts here, and whatnot I can find down in the uh, down in the description. And uh, you know, if you if you've been on the fence about getting one of these, get off the fence because uh, this thing's freaking awesome. Like I said, uh, well, in this video earlier or the video before this, I can't remember. I'm doing two different videos about the same machine. I can't remember what I said where, but uh, anywho, um, I'll do my I'll put my uh, battery review video up uh, up there and in the description and and whatnot down below. Um, anywhere I can stick it, that's where I'm going to put it. And uh, if you want to see the battery review on this, um, you know, that's a separate video. This was all about uh, trying to fix the thing. And I think the battery fixed it and a little bit of grease, you know, took care of that side side brush thing. So she working. she's working pretty good. All right, that's going to wrap this one up, guys. I hope you enjoyed it. I hope you learned a little something, maybe. Um, hey, maybe it was just entertaining, killing the... 20 minutes or something, however long the video is. Um, do the, the likes, the subscribes, you know, whatever, all that bells and whistles, all that jazz. And uh, hey, we're going to see you guys in the next one. All right. Cheers.